my name is Danny Deliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. Communities we, we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change. We're on to race number seven, the penultimate race on the day, 1,200 meters the distance. 15.55 is the off time for this Phillies and Mears 75 handicap. Favorite is number two, pour some sugar on me. She's found early support from 5-1 to one into 7-2. to two. Along with the poppy of Bayou, it's 4-1 to one about uh, time for glory, 11-2 to two and better by those. Now, I think it's a race where you can possibly narrow your selections down. And the horses that stand out to me are numbers two, seven and nine in this event and uh, I'll start with number seven certainly because she's a horse that um, has obviously dropped a few points in the ratings three more points after last start and last time out she went flat out for I'll say 1,200 meters and then she just sort of tied late on in the day to run fought. I think the drop in trip could certainly suit her. She's got Richard Furry on the back which is a notable jockey booking and uh, this filly she's likely to go to the front to the head of affairs and she could possibly stay there if she does get a soft lead and I think she'll run a nice race at around 7 to 1 in the market. Pour some sugar on me, I think she'll be better over 1200 last time and I think 1000 was maybe a bit too quick for her and then Bright Star, she'll be doing her best work at the finish but I think between those three horses we could potentially find the winner but Graham what's your thoughts on the seventh race? Agree with the three you've mentioned. I would throw in as well number six, Poppy of Bayer. I know that she's been costly to follow. She's been frustrating to follow and uh, she hasn't won for 489 days. But uh, uh, the Duncan House table, as we mentioned earlier, they're competitive and Sean Veal goes well. So I wouldn't leave out number six, Poppy of Bayer. I think number two, pour some sugar on me. She's game, she's consistent, she's well drawn and she'll run another very good race. I agree with you, I think a thousand meters was too sharp for her last time, so she'll be better um, over this trip. And then you've mentioned the other two, a bright star, uh, goes well over course and distance, goes well for Muzi Yen, he doesn't have the best of the draw, uh, but will be running on strongly at the end, and certainly uh, is much better than she's shown in her recent form, and uh, there are indications that she's coming back. Richard Faris is a significant jockey booking, so, I, you, you've mentioned three. I, I would include four horses. I'd include all of numbers two, Paul, some sugar on me, number six, Poppy of Bayer, number seven, certainly, and number nine, Bright Star. Um, can there be an upset? Yes, there can be. Uh, but I would, uh, I would certainly pin my hopes on those four runners. Yeah, you can certainly play around numbers two, six, seven, and nine in the, the penultimate race on the day, and uh, a winner could hopefully come from those four horses. Hi, I'm Trevor, the CEO of the SAME Foundation. The donation we received from Interbase helped us in procuring vital, life-saving medical equipment and PPE for Tigerberg and Huitiskia hospitals in the Western Cape. Um, this was while the Western Cape was the epicenter of the pandemic. If you would like to get in touch or assist us in these projects, you can get hold of us on our website, which is www.samefoundation.org.za, Facebook and Instagram or LinkedIn.